The Indonesian government has reaffirmed its commitment to the joint South Korean KFX-IFX fighter jet development program, now known as the KF-21 Borome. In a meeting with South Korean officials on February 7 in Jakarta, Deputy Minister of Defense, Wamenhan, of the Republic of Indonesia M. Harinda representing Indonesian Minister of Defense Prabowo Subianto said Jakarta had a big commitment to this joint program. This was announced by the Ministry of Defense of the Republic of Indonesia. Deputy Defense Minister Harinda said Jakarta views the KF-21 program as a strategic opportunity to master high technology in the defense industry. Since the Minister of Defense's directive regarding the continuation of the KFX-IFX program, the Ministry of Defense has coordinated with relevant ministries so that the program runs according to the expectations of the President of the Republic of Indonesia, which includes conducting the sixth negotiation which resulted in joint agreement on the 11th of November 2021 and 37 PTD engineers and 2R test pilots have been sent to participate in the South Korean CHI, said Deputy Minister of Defense in Harindra. It was added that the Indonesian government supports the re-establishment of the Joint Program Management Office in order to achieve the program objectives of both parties. The Joint Development Program for the KFX-IFX fighter aircraft between RI and the Republic of Korea began with the signing of a letter of intent on March 6, 2009, in which the Republic of Indonesia was represented by the Indonesian Ministry of Defense, Secretary General of the Ministry of Defense, and the ROC was represented by Defense. Acquisition Program Administration, Commissioner of DAPA While the aim of the program, continued the Vice Minister of Defense, is to realize the ability of the Indonesian people in mastering fighter aircraft technology, PURPERS 136-2014, with the achievement target being able to produce limited components, wing, tail and pylon, KFX, IFX, then can carry out final assembly, flight test and recertification of IFX, can also carry out operations and maintenance of IFX aircraft and modify or upgrade IFX aircraft. During the meeting, the Deputy Minister of Defense of the Republic of Indonesia was accompanied by the Secretary General of the Ministry of Defense, Director General of Strahan, Kabalitbang, Kabaranahan, Durdakindan, President Director of PTDI, and Katimlok KKIP. From DAPA, also attending was DAPA Director General for KF-21 Program Group Mr. No, Jimin, DAPA KF-21 Coordination and Contract Team Leader Jayan Namhi, Deputy Director in KF-21 Coordination and Contract Team DAPA Mr. Hio Kwangbum, Kai Director and Head Aircraft Program Management Department Mr. Jung Min Jae, and 8th in South Korea in Jakarta Navy Captain Lee Judiak. Meanwhile, Flight Global wrote, in this 4.5-generation fighter jet development project, Indonesia must make payments related to 20% of this 8.8 trillion won, 7 billion United States dollars, program. State Aircraft Manufacturing Company PT Durgantara Indonesia, PTDI, also sent 37 engineers and two test pilots to the South Korean Kai Aircraft Factory. The Indonesian Ministry of Defense did not say how much money Indonesia would pay in 2022 but funding has been a contentious issue between the two partners for several years. In November 2022, South Korea's Yonhap News Agency reported that Indonesia had continued paying its share of the program with a payout of 9.4 billion won. Two months earlier, DAPA indicated that the two sides had reached a funding agreement, whereby Jakarta would pay its 30% share via in-kind payment. At that time, South Korean media said that Jakarta was in arrears of 800 billion won. Additionally, the Indonesian Ministry of Defense is supporting the re-establishment of a joint program office for the effort. Indonesia hopes to gain the capability to manufacture components such as wings, tail and masts, as well as carry out final assembly in Bandung.